All right, ladies and gentlemen, more for fellow amateur radio operators. I want to talk about a three-element tape measure Yagi that myself and several other amateur radio operators built this evening. Or actually, I'm sorry, this afternoon. We built it at a uh, maker space, which was pretty cool. Um, that allowed us to be in an environment that was conducive to making things, obviously. Um, but it was neat, instead of me just building it, there was 10 or 15 of us building this thing. And so if one person didn't have a tool, someone else someone else had it. And so if we're inevitably missing something, someone else had it, which was cool. But anyways, I want to talk to you about the way I, what I built mine. I found the instructions on the internet, of course. Three element tape measure Yagi. If you were to Google that, you'll find it. Uh, or just go to uh, www.nt1k.com and you'll find the instructions. And this guy that did it, along with a few other fellows, did an absolutely amazing job of uh, putting this thing on CAD. Uh, putting this thing on CAD, and um, this guy must be a professional or something like that because uh, it did a very good job of organizing the instructions. This is very easy laid out instructions. Tells you exactly what you need to do and the lengths and stuff. So anyway, here's one that uh, a fellow hand made. He used the rubber feet um, from chairs as a method to secure it. And what's cool is that with this one, if you use the one that's got the half inch wide tape measure, you can stuff it in the holes like this one. I don't want to show take out mine because I was an idiot. And I use one inch tape, one inch wide tape measure, and it's a lot harder to do, so I'm not going to take it apart. But what I when I build mine, and uh, if you know what you're doing, it'll take you about 30 minutes, maybe. Uh, the uh, the guys that never built uh, antennas before it took them about an hour or so. You know, those who didn't have very much construction experience. But anyway, so you see, I I uh, originally had the seven sixteenths to one inch hose clamps. On all of them, but I replaced it because I wanted to use a hose clamp sort of thing. So I just use them with heavy duty uh, cable zip ties. I might end up regretting that. I don't know. And then uh, you got your RF choke there. RF choke I used zip ties to secure. Here's the hairpin match. Um, I, I still don't know fully much about the hairpin matches. I just know that they work. Um, I really think that this should be a, a quarter way for two meters, but I'll have to do some experimenting. But anyways. That's it, and it's pretty neat. It's a simple antenna. It's an effective antenna um, as long as it's built correctly. Uh, and if you want to use it as a permanent station antenna, it'll work for a little while until the wind destroys it. If you do that, I would recommend that you glue these together. I did not, so that way in the event I actually need to throw it in a car and uh, um, keep it in there, I can I can leave it in pieces. But thought I'd show you that. Have a good day.